everyone, Tyson Alger here, joined by Andrew Greif inside Austin Stadium after Oregon's 48-28 to win over Arizona. First game in seven weeks that Justin Herbert has played. Uh, he threw for a touchdown, ran for a 40-yard touchdown, really kind of revitalized this offense that has completely had no semblance of any sort of passing attack. Uh, pretty much for the last, over more than a month, uh, Andrew, I, you just filed your story. What was kind of like your primary takeaway? For me, it was just, it wasn't just the fact that Herbert was back. It was kind of the energy that it gave the entire program from offense to defense, which really contained yeah. Khalil Tate as well. Yeah, I think you saw that. I saw that at least kind of schematically because the running backs had more room to operate uh, because there was more uh, uncertainty about the offense. It wasn't just run, run, run. Mm -hmm. You saw them have a little bit more freedom and, and lanes to run through. You saw the wide receivers obviously getting more involved, the tight ends. But, they actually got to run a little bit. Yeah, but I also think that you put this in your story that there's also kind of just like this un uh, this thing that wasn't really tangible was like this energy around the team in the stadium mm -hmm. that seemed like it was more lively. Um, that they knew that they knew that if they got a turnover or they had a bad drive or two and Arizona scored, they weren't done for the day. And you just right. knew that the last five games that if Oregon got behind even a little bit, that couldn't happen. They were down 21-14 in the second quarter. They scored 35 the next 42 points um, right. to seal this win. That, that, that was the one thing when Braxton Burmeister, a true freshman who had been leading this team at quarterback, that team could not afford to play from behind uh, like this Oregon team can. Uh, even when Justin Herbert threw his interception today, which was about uh, 35 yards through the air, A, I think Oregon fans were just happy that it was a long pass that was intercepted. But then B, it just it didn't feel like it was detrimental to the whole rest of the day because they knew that they could come back from that sort of situation. And the offense was so much better today that they've got through 12 penalties. Not all of them were on the offense, but there were so many procedural penalties. Everything was back today, just just like early in this season. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of amazing how, um, even though they put themselves sometimes in pretty bad positions, they still got out of it because of the threat and the production of Herbert. But also the defense, they were excellent. Uh, I mean, they had their penalties too, but... They fought through that, and they limited Khalil Tate to 32 yards rushing. Justin Herbert right. outrushed him, right. which is unbelievable. 129 yards fewer that, that's, than his season average. That's what I was going to say. Is the, That was the amazing stat. Is it was 129 yards less than the yeah. that. Um, Royce Freeman had four rushing touchdowns. He gives him 62 overall for his career. Uh, it's a new Oregon record. He broke with Michael James's. Uh, he passed LaDainian Tomlinson on the Pac-12s. Career Pac-12 or NCA all, 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 all football. NCA's yeah. career rushing list. Um, Tony yeah. Brooks James went over 100 yards as well. Aiden uh, Schneider is now tied with Jared Siegel for most field goals all time in Oregon history with 49. Um, Ugo Amadi had an interception that was his third this season. That's a team high. Troy Dye with 11 tackles. That's a team high. It just felt like kind of a, a total team win. The, the special teams didn't look bad and they hadn't looked great for a couple weeks. Defense looked pretty good in stretches. The offense did too. I think that they'll probably win the Civil War next week. Right. And, and, and then go, we and then we get to go spend Christmas in Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, they're going to a bowl game, probably seven and five, which in this season feels completely different than it did two weeks ago Correct. at Washington when they failed to score a touchdown for the first time in 130 games. It's a way different season now with Herbert back. It's amazing what getting your, you know, potential All Pac-12 if he's healthy quarterback right. back in the saddle. That was a good stat. Yeah, thanks. All right, see you guys next week.